crab that lived in the ocean. Every day she grew bigger, and one day she was too big for her shell. I need to find a new shell. So the hermit crab stepped out of the old shell and onto the ocean floor. She began to look for a bigger shell. Soon she found just the house she was looking for. It was a big shell and strong. She moved right in, wiggling and waggling about inside to see how it felt. It felt just right. The hermit crab knew she had found her new home, but this house was not as pretty as the hermit crab's last house. It was just too plain. I just... Now I need to decorate it, she thought. Soon, the hermit crab met a sea anemone. It swayed gently back and forth in the water. The hermit crab thought the sea anemone was very handsome, and she wanted it to decorate her house. Will you come and live in, at my house? So the sea anemone moved on to the hermit crab's house and made it very pretty. But the hermit crab was not done decorating. She met a sea star. It moved gently across the floor of the ocean. Will you come and live at my house? Yes, and make it happy. So the sea star moved on to the hermit crab's house and made it very pretty. But the hermit crab was still not done decorating. She discovered some coral. It looked like a giant tree on the ocean floor. So the coral moved on to the hermit crab's house and made it very pretty. Then the hermit crab saw a seahorse gliding in the water. The seahorse was very colorful. I must have the seahorse on my house, the hermit crab thought. Could you please move my house, So the seahorse moved on to the hermit crab's house and made it very pretty. Now, the hermit crab wanted someone to make her house clean. She saw a snail crawling over a rock on the ocean floor. It grazed as it went along, picking up algae and bits of debris. Will you come out in my house? Yes. So the snail moved on to the hermit crab's house and kept it clean. The hermit crab saw another spot on her shell that needed decoration. She discovered a sea urchin. It had sharp and prickly needles. The hermit crab thought the sea urchin was very fierce and could protect her house. Will you come and live at my house? Yes, I may. So the sea urchin moved onto the hermit crab's house and protected it. The hermit crab loved the way her new house looked, and she and all of her friends began to explore the ocean. They came to a forest of seaweed. But it was too dark and scary for them you're to enter. You're really scared. Mm -hmm. scared. So they did not go in. Then one day the hermit crab saw a lantern fish swimming by. It was very bright and it lit up the water. The hermit crab thought the lantern fish would be perfect to light up her house. So the lantern fish swam near the hermit crab's house and made it very bright. The hermit crab and her friends traveled all over the ocean floor. The hermit crab spotted a pile of smooth pebbles in the sand. She thought they looked very sturdy, and she wanted them to make a wall to protect her house. So the pebbles did make a wall around the hermit crab's house, and they kept it very safe. Every day, the hermit crab grew a little, and it wasn't long before her shell seemed a bit small. She would love to find another, bigger home, but she had come to love her friends and the sea anemone, the sea star, <laughs> the coral, the seahorse, the sea urchin, the snail, the lantern fish, and even the smooth pebbles. How can I leave them, she thought. Then a smaller hermit crab passed by. A uh, smaller hermit crab? I need a new house, thought the smaller hermit crab. Here, you can have mine. It has all my friends on it. You can have it and I'll need it. Yeah. Mm. Right there. And you the smaller hermit crab 
promise that she would take care of the shell forever. So the big hermit crab gave the little hermit crab her home, and she went off to find a new home and make even more new this friends. This sticky tap. The end. This one just sticky Okay, getting along so you can bow and curtsy. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. All right, show me that straight line. Kind of fell apart at the end there, uh, Jacob, but. Where are you going? Where are you going, Obi? Okay. Okay. All righty, but we'll see what we got, and I'll see if I can cut out the. Uh... Can we read a book? No, it's time for your lunch, guys. Thank you. Wait.